the running clock. Is uh -oh. that right? Uh-oh. I don't know. I don't know if I can do that kind of math. Yeah, put them at 34. They're at 35 right now. That's good. 48-14, Mountain Crest still cruising. Here at Lewiston State Bank, we offer lots of different loan products to meet your needs. We're happy to work with you and hope that you would enjoy working with us. We had to take out an automobile loan, and so we came into Lewiston State Bank, and she was so good. She worked with me really, really well. We are proud to have been serving our customers for over 100 years with personalized, friendly service. Please come in and meet your new friends at Lewiston State Bank. This is a 68 Buick Skylark and we're just working on the lights. This is a 92 Toyota Corolla and we're just putting in a new alternator. This is a 97 Pontiac Transport and we've had the whole motor apart putting in new intake manifold gaskets. For all your automotive needs, big or small, see A1 Automotive. Well, it's 48 to 14, Mountain Crest with the commanding lead over Mountain View. But the bright spot for Mountain View is coming into this ball game in the second quarter is Jacob Bingham. He's got 125 yards rushing. This ball hasn't gone 10 yards. As they did an onside kick, there's a flag on the field as well. Credit Mountain View here for doing everything they can to claw their way back into the game and for continuing to play or continuing to play hard. Excuse me, even in the face of this sizable Mount Crest lead. Well, even when you're down big, you still want to work on your stuff. You know, you still want to run your stuff. You still want to. You don't want your team to think you're going to lay down either. Right? Well, and it's really region that you have to worry about wins and losses. Here, Mountain View is just doing their best to to make sure they come out a better football team than, the, than when the game started. And I'm sure that's the same goal that Mountain Crest has. And they'll be able to evaluate and move on and practice on Monday and look forward to their next opponent. I didn't think it went 10 yards, but maybe it did. Let's see, they're still talking about what the call might be. Looked like it came up short by a couple of yards. Colson. Next to me, Brent Pickett, fill-in guest color commentator. He sharpened his crayons and brought them all over. We appreciate having you here. Offsides, Mountain Crest. That's that's a 24 color set. Is it? Is yep. it? Does it have the box that's got the uh, sharpener? It, in it does. It does. On sale at Kmart. For any of you interested, that's what I've been taking notes with during the game today. Oh, we've got to send them a bill now because you said their name. <laughs> free advertising. Nothing is free. <laughs> So that means that Mountain View gets to move forward five yards and boot it again. Yeah, that kick did not go 10 yards, so. Mountain View will have another shot at it here. Even though Mountain View recovered it and got on it first, they have to kick it again. Kick it on site again. Oh, Mountain Crest went up and got it. They didn't wait that time. Mountain View says they've got it, but no. Mountain View's got it. Or Mountain Crest has it. Mountain saying View. a little bit of something. Mountain View players were all saying they had it. And then there's a then there's a flag. So something that was going on there at the end of that. Drew a flag. He will get another look at the off or on the onside kick, excuse me. Kicker does a better job of getting it downfield here. And uh, Mountain Crest. He gets the bounce. Might have been where to run it underneath it there? I'm oh, not sure. 13, it was Josh Blad. Oh, Josh Blad, excuse me. My apologies to the Blad family <laughs> on that one. Uh, Blad run underneath it and was able to field the, uh, field the kick and retain Mountain Crest possession. 
personal foul on Mountain View. Somebody must have took a poke at someone else. Mountain Crest gets the ball at the Mountain View 38 with 4.19 to play. Excellent opportunity here for the young Mustangs out on the field to take advantage and work their way on down to the end zone. for the edge, stops and starts again. Finally hauled down. Mountain Crest showed a wide stable of physical running backs they can throw out against the defenses that they'll be playing against this year and try and wear them down um, as they progress through the season. Hopefully these running backs will be able to stay healthy and, and be able to provide the Mustangs with the depth they need so that Eddie doesn't uh, tire himself out too quickly. Five yards for Watterson. victory. This endowment game, those endowment games, part of the gate goes to the schools, and the rest of the gate goes to UHSAA. There's Taylor with another big run, and Nick Taylor showing that, uh, showing a little bit of promise. 15, 18, 19 yards from Taylor. Here you see Taylor once again, another big upright runner from Mountain Crest blowing his way through the Mountain View defense. You can see part of a helmet going flying off there as he gets his way down inside of the 15-yard line, putting the Mustangs in good position to be able to get one more score out of this game before the clock runs to zero. He's a junior, is Nick Taylor. He and Ferguson are both juniors. Fumble, snap. A loss of a couple. Here with about two and a half minutes to go, this will be a good practice situation for these uh, young Mustangs to practice a, uh, you know, a real situation they'll be faced with and try and work this one down into the end zone. Give to Taylor, waits for his hole to develop. It does, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. 17-yard touchdown run for Taylor. Another big, strong run down the middle there for Taylor, showing good vision and uh, good enough speed to be able to make his way for six across the goal line. See here once again with that big upright style. Not quite as elusive as Hall, perhaps, but equally as effective on this run as he runs through a few Bruins and uh, powers his way into the end zone. Until it's the first game of the season, this is Mountain Crest needs another player on the field. Mountain View had to do it earlier. They were two players short. <laughs> hey, guys, remember, you're on special teams. We'll put a piece of colored tape on your face mask so we you know. We need 11. They can play it with 10, but if you have 12, it's a penalty. BAT's no good, 54 to 14. Snap a little bit high on that one. With 2.04 to play in the game. Mountain Crest leads. over the half century mark 54 to 14 and really the only thing we've seen offensively that looks like it needs work is the PATs and that's special teams 
uh, special teams and they'll have plenty of time to get that worked out. But you can never underestimate the value of special teams. Those kicks, more often than not, are the difference between winning and losing. Curran. That is goal line. They're going to say, no, you step back into the end zone. So Mountain View will take over at their 20-yard line. Mountain Crest so far, 235 yards on the ground. Mountain Crest historically a great running team, showing that they've, uh, they've, they've continued on that tradition with the offensive line doing a great job of opening up holes and the running backs doing a great job of running physically, getting downhill, um, able to make a few guys miss in open space and, and gain some yards. 251 yards through the air unofficially, 486 total yards for Mountain Crest. Webb, 18 of 26. Six touchdown passes, 251 yards. Not a bad way to start out your varsity career if you're Jamison Webb as a quarterback at the very least. Bingham's going to keep it. Pick up about six. Bingham gang tackled there by a plethora of Mustangs. Bingham, four carries, 131 yards. Mountain View offense certainly showing some potential during the night to bust open some big plays as they pick and prod their way at the defense until they can finally blow the door down and run for a big gain. 131 yards for Bingham rushing, 194 total yards rushing for Mountain View. They had only 36 in the first half, it was two big runs here in the second half. Domingo no gain. Now if we were to pick a player of the game, Brent, I'd probably, I'd probably pick Jameson Webb or Eddie Hall. Webb was a pretty dang good debut. I think it's hard to argue against either one of them. Jameson coming out and putting on a strong, strong showing with the help of Hall and Putu Tao and his other receivers. Um, and Eddie making himself available as well and, and causing all sorts of defenders on the Bruins to miss and scoring three touchdowns did he have? Who? Hall? Hall caught three touchdown passes and he didn't uh, run for any. Well, that's going to be the ball game. Mountain Crest 54, Mountain View 14. We'll take a break and be back to wrap things up from Hiram. You're watching the Game of the Week on the Valley Channel. S.E. Needham Jewelers is Northern Utah's largest volume diamond importer. My name is Gene Needham and I travel personally to the world's diamond cutting center Antwerp, Belgium. There I hand select each diamond based on the most favorable combinations of cut, color, and clarity. This makes all of our diamonds unique and special and assures that our customers get the best selection and value. These advantages enable us to consistently beat 50 to 70 percent off sales or any so-called wholesale deals. Come see us, S.E. Needham Jewelers, middle of the block at the sign of the clock. Fifty-four to fourteen, your final here. Mountain Crest beating Mountain View, and Jameson Webb, our player of the game for the night, he goes eighteen of twenty-three, six touchdowns, two hundred fifty-one yards. He did have on his first pass of the game, he threw a pick, and then the rest of the night, it's hard to find anything wrong with his game. Outside of that fumble that he 
let get away from him. Jamison certainly played an incredibly uh, solid game and even spectacular when you consider it's his first game as a varsity quarterback. He was able to air it out, find his receivers, hit his spots, and lead his team to a victory. Hall, 154 yards of offense, 77 on the ground, 77 through the air on five catches, three touchdown receptions for Hall. Putu Tal, five catches, 56 yards and a touchdown. Uh, and you, also uh, Ferguson, three catches. What's that, 73 yards from two wow. touchdowns for Ferguson. So, and then Nick Taylor had a touchdown, seven yards and 69 or seven carries, 69 yards, and then Ferguson had that touchdown run. So really uh, spread the wealth on offense for, for uh, Mountain Crest. A successful debut for the Mustangs. Thanks for joining us. Game of the Week on the Valley Channel. The game of the Week brought to you by Icon Health and Fitness. Never give up. Lewiston State Bank, your hometown bank with a new branch on South Main. Wendy's of Cash Valley, you know when it's real. Cash Valley Hospital, you do have a choice in health care. Discount Tire and Automotive, so much more than a tire store. Salt Lake Express, doorstep to doorstep service from Cash Valley to Salt Lake. St. Needham Jewelers, middle of the block, sign at the bar. The logo shop, we logo stuff. All kinds of stuff. And the Valley Channel, Cash Valley's television station. For Brent Pickett and all the guys doing the hard work in the truck, I'm Eric Olson saying see you next time on the Valley Channel.